What's good, y'all? Today here I have a pretty disturbing PDF file that I wanted to share with you guys. I came across this on Reddit and I thought it was very interesting. Um, it's very rare that you see stuff like this, or at least I see stuff like this. Um, and what I have here is a court case involving P. Diddy and his ex-wife, Cassie. Um, for those of you guys that don't know already, um, Cassie is accusing Diddy of doing a lot of heinous acts that um, are pretty disturbing to say here on YouTube. But we're going to go through this. We're going to read it together, just skim through some of the things. Um, of course, here there's a trigger warning. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Um, it's pretty pretty disturbing if I say so myself. I've already looked at a couple of things, but anyway, just kind of want to touch on it briefly, uh, you know, get your guys' thoughts and opinions. I will leave the link for this PDF down in the description below so you guys can check it out yourself. Without further ado, um, let's skim through it. I'm going to just read off some of the things, anything that comes to mind, anything that sticks out to me, um, you guys can read as well. Sean Combs is a rapper, regular exhibitor, properly known by Stage Name Puff Daddy, yes, um, 1990s. Yep, this is pretty much like his testimony, I guess, and whatnot. But yeah, this is where it gets disturbing, right here. And um, yeah, these bullet points pretty much sum up who Diddy is as a person. Um, I don't need to read any of this. I'm sure YouTube wouldn't want me to read this anyway. Yeah, in her own home after she tried to leave him, often punch beat, kicked and stomped on Miss Ventura, resulting in bruises, burst lip, black eyes, and bleeding. Blew up a man's car after he learned that he was romantically interested in Miss Ventura. Now this, uh, this from what I've gathered, could be in reference to Kid Cudi. I'm not exactly sure, but that's what I've read throughout the comments. So I mean, hey, I wouldn't put it past Diddy. He's he's fucking insane. Um. Forced Miss Ventura to engage in sex acts with male workers. Wow. Wow. That's very disturbing. Okay. Ran out of his apartment with a firearm in pursuit of a rival industry executive who we learned was nearby. Uh, demanded that Miss Ventura to carry a firearm in her church just to make her comfortable and demonstrate how dangerous he is. Excessive alcohol and substance abuse. Uh, she was 19 years old and he was 17 years old. Anti relationship. And one of the most powerful men in the entertainment industry. Yep, controlling man. Yep, sounds about right. Um, the rest of this, like I said, is just kind of um, her allegations, her story, her side of things. Like I said, I will leave the link in the description for you guys to read it for yourself. There is 35 pages. I'm not going through all 35. I'm just... You know, briefly skimming through this so you guys have a good idea. Uh, parties involved. Hmm. Mm. Okay, factual allegations. Uh, teenage Miss Ventura meets male age Miss Ventura. As her career began, very disturbing. Miss Ventura met Miss Combs at number five. Was in the club and expressed interest in signing her to his label, Bad Boy Records. At this time, she was 19. Combs was 37. Yeah, that's fucking weird. Ten months, signed a 10-album deal. <sighs> Wonder how that went. Probably was even worse than the things we read in the first page. He appeared on MTV. Combs, however, sought to rehabilitate his newly signed talent, telling MTV News, you could hear the nervousness in her voice, and be honest, I kind of smiled at it because it made me really appreciate what I really love about her. She's a regular person, it just made me appreciate she got nervous. It was kind of cute to me, to be honest. You've got to understand the sexual is coming out of nowhere, so huge, and sometimes everybody can react to it differently. Hmm. So I guess it's just like a backstory to how they met, how they first hooked up. Um, oh, I'm seeing... Mr. Combs, okay, although Mr. Combs knew that he was a relationship at the time, even though he was publicly in a relationship with Kim Porter, wow. Mr. Combs nevertheless pursued Miss Ventura at an after party in a hotel suite following Miss Ventura's 21st birthday party. Mr. Combs pulled up to Miss Ventura into a bathroom and forcibly kissed her. Miss Ventura did not consent, bullshit, to this unwanted contact. She immediately ran out the bathroom in the hotel suite and cried. She told her best friend at the time what happened, was too scared to tell anyone else. 
I mean, I'm not going to say bullshit. That's kind of insensitive, but I don't know. I feel like you would have said something earlier. I don't know. It's just, it's just, you know, a string of consciousness, you know, nothing to support that theory. But anyway, this clone was never proceeded to drive racing at a very high speed zone. Uh, uh, okay. And, uh, wow, she learned, she later learned that the pill was ecstasy. Wow. This was the first time that Mr. Combs got Miss Matura high. Damn. So he was a drug in her too. Golly. A fake flyer. Damn, he made a fake flyer too? Allegedly? Oh, man. Wow. Miss Matura was stunned at how easily Mr. Combs was able to recruit others to lie for him. Oh, here's where things start to go bad. Mr. Combs and Miss Matura's relationship becomes violent and abusive. What started as a whirlwind of celebrity meetings and a drug and alcohol fueled parties, however, quickly turned frightening and violent. Wow, I wonder how. Uh, what's also supposed to be intense violence that pervaded Mr. Combs' rise to fame? For example, on one occasion when Mr. Combs and Miss Warner were using drugs together in his home office, one of security staff barged in announced that Suge Knight, a longtime rival of Mr. Combs, was spotted at Mel Drive's driving in Los Angeles. Mr. Combs began to get dressed, retrieved multiple guns from a safe, ran out of his home to where he believed was Mel Drive. Wow. Party with Jay Z and Mr. Combs beat Miss Ventura repeatedly in the Escalade, included by kicking her and hitting her. Forced out of her vehicle on Fifth Avenue, New York City, she was able to haul a cab and get to her apartment. Oh my God! Wow. In the car leaving the club, Mr. Combs beat Miss Ventura, pushing her into a corner of the vehicle and stopping on her face. Oh my God. This is terrible. Like beating her profusely, wash, wash her hands, Mr. Combs. Oh my. God, throw up, Jesus. Mm. Damn. She was trapped in the hotel room. Oh my God, I don't even. Oh, fuck me. Oh man. Yeah, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. This is where it gets really uncomfortable. Mr. Combs forces Miss Ventura into sex trafficking. I'm going to like read one or two pages and I'm going to wrap this video up. You guys can read the rest because I feel like, you know, I feel like it's only appropriate not only for YouTube, but for, you know, anybody's sake that might be watching this. But yeah, within a few months, we're going to learn the demands. Well, he wanted to engage in a fantasy world called voyeurism. This comes out of be turn him on if he saw Miss Victoria with another Jesus Christ, man. Oh my God. I don't even think I can continue to read this anymore. Like, this is already really bad. Um, first time this goes on. So, Los Angeles, the man was wearing a masquerade mask and ingested drugs. Wow. This one to perform a sex job with this man while Miss Combs watched any. Wow. 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 Lasted multiple days. Uh, you wanted a FO? Oh my God. Oh Lord, have mercy. This was our practice, our secret. Oh my God. The Trump International Hotel. Jesus Christ. Oh my Lord. God damn, man. Oh my Lord. Oh, okay. All right. You guys get the point. If you want, like I said, I will leave the link to this article or this PDF, I should say, in the description. But um, the bigger picture here is, man, P. Diddy's not the only one. He's not the only one that is involved in these activities. All of your favorite celebrities, all of your favorite actors, politicians, people that you look up to are heavily involved in this stuff. Um, I can't say to what extent. I can't say, you know what exactly they're doing but if mr diddy himself is doing this man you better believe there's other people in the entertainment industry in the show business that's doing this as well it's disturbing it's it's vile it's i'm i'm appalled man it's just it's crazy like i know this stuff happens but like reading it word for word being it having it be described it's really disturbing it's really disturbing but um yeah, like I said, man, like I say in all these videos, be careful, man. Be careful 
what you decide to do with your talent. Uh, do not sign a contract. Become independent. Um, do not trust a man in a suit that offers you, you know, a large contract. Man, these people do not have your best interests at heart. These people view you as an asset, and as soon as you stop making them money, they will kill your ass or blackmail your ass or leak footage of you getting popped in the booty, whatever, man. This is Hollywood for you, and I hope this is able to open your eyes to what goes on in Hollywood, man. Because this this is, I'm, I promise you, I promise you, Diddy is not the only one doing this. I mean, look at the flight log for Epstein Island. Look at, look at freaking Tom Hanks. Look at freaking John John Legend and, and Chrissy Teigen. Look at all these people, man. All these people are involved in this shit. It's horrid. It's fucked. But um, yeah, I'm gonna leave the video at that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope nobody, hope nobody got uncomfortable here. I hope nobody, you know, fainted or whatever. But yeah, um, that'll wrap this video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.